Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. A couple days ago, one of my buddies who's just starting out doing game development really wanted to build out a maze just as a, a, a simple project. And I realized that uh, other new developers going through this process who might want to create a maze or a map or some kind of thing that they just want to build up in Unity might not know the easy ways to do it and may go around kind of doing it the difficult way. So when he first started out, like most of us do, I think he went in and created a 3D object created a cube, you know, resized it, got it down to some size like this, then duplicated it, moved it over, made the other wall, duplicate, you know, move it over, maybe rotate it, and go through a big giant process of trying to line all these things up and then build out you know, a big, giant, complicated maze, right? And, and it's a, an obvious, easy way to go. Like you see cubes, like, hey, I can build out some walls with the cube. In fact, I could even turn this into a big room, right? Make some nice tall walls here, put a roof on top, a roof on the bottom, and I've got myself a little bit of a room. And like I said, this works, it's slow, it's tedious, and there are easier ways to do it that I just wanna show. So the way that I would go about building something like this, and I don't go about building these very often, it's pretty rare that I need to build a maze or something like that. Usually artists will kind of build this stuff. But if I do, what I like to do is go to the asset store and grab Pro Builder. There's a totally free version. You don't need to pay for it for this to work. Um, import this in and just kind of be amazed at how much simpler it is to kind of build this stuff out. It'll take you maybe five, 10 minutes to really get comfortable with the system. I'm gonna show you some of the, the basics right now, but um, it, it's more than worth spending the time and just importing in this asset to really build up some cool levels and some cool mazes and just to kind of prototype you know, whatever it is you want to build. All right, so now that it's all imported in, let's just delete these cubes real quick and I'm gonna show you the process. So we go to tools, go to Pro Builder Basic and pop up the window. You get this nice little basic window. I uh, just kind of drag it off to the side, usually off the monitor, but we'll leave it here for now. Just hit new shape. You can pick from a couple different shape types. There's cubes, stairs. Actually, there's quite a few shape types. I'm gonna go with the basics though, like I said. I'm gonna do just a map and maybe a room real quick in a cube. So we'll start with just a cube. There we go, we've got the cube right here. Now what we can do is select different parts of the cube up here. So here I'm selecting the entire object. Here we can select a vertex, an edge, or a face. Now if I select a face, so I've got face select mode on, I select this face and I can just hit W and I can actually drag it out. You can see it's just kind of growing along and it's repeating the texture. Everything just kind of works. If I hold control, I can get my snapping right. So here, let's undo that. Hold control, just kind of snap it out one meter at a time, get it seven meters wide. And this little view right here that's showing the distance, that's an option under tools and dimension overlay. I have mine set to show. I think if you turn it off, it'll hide it. But I think it's more than worth having there. So I turn that on. And now what if I want to turn this thing though? So I got it going one way and I want to make a T or make it split off. So it takes a little while to figure out if you don't know what to look for, but what you want is this extrude faces option. And you can see there's a control E hotkey for it. Now I'm gonna select, with this selected, just hit control E. You see it popped out, it went out half a meter and I can just drag this out. I'm gonna get this out to exactly one meter. And now I can select this face individually and extrude that one with control E. Go out this way, maybe go over to this face, extrude again, drag it out, go over to this one, extrude and drag it out. Oh, oops, I did not hit extrude. Let's see, let's try that again. So extrude, there we go. That's that control E hotkey, command D I'm sure on a Mac. And then drag it out and now I've got a little T cross shape, you know, and we could continue just building this thing out and building it into a maze or some other random shape. Um, but it's also kind of cool that you can, you know, resize these things. You can adjust the height there and have it pull up the things that are related to it. Or I can extrude again and just drag up this piece. I'm gonna grow it. And you can do all kinds of different shapes. Like you saw in the drop down, there's a ridiculous number of different things you can do. But I wanna delete this one more time and just show one other quick thing that I think is really cool and useful and something that you know, average developer might want to do often. And that's, uh, we're gonna create another cube. So go to new shape. And I'm gonna scale this thing up to be like four by four by four. So it's a slightly bigger cube than we were working with. And I'm gonna grab a side. Let's see, oh, I need to hit build cube. There we go. Now I'll grab a side, uh, drag that out a bit. 
maybe go out to 12 meters and I'm gonna grab this side and drag it out just a little bit Let's get it reasonably large not not too huge and then there's an option in here to flip face normals now I don't want to flip just this face what I'm gonna do instead is select the entire object and I'm gonna choose flip normals now from the outside and see like I can all of a sudden see in the object but if I go in here now I've got a room I've got a room with tiled textures and I didn't have to do any lining up of cubes I just hit invert and built it one thing you'll notice though is you probably won't be able to see because there's no light in here we know if we're inside the room you probably want to put a light in there I just turned off lighting mode for now in the scene view but you want to put some lighting inside your rooms like you usually would now what if I want to adjust this I can select this face I go back into face select mode just remember these things have to be up here you got to select the correct mode and those only show up by the way if you have the pro builder object selected I think it's the only way you can actually modify these so here we go I've got it selected got that face selected and I can just kind of drag it out and expand out the room I can grab the roof and shrink it down or maybe I want to make some hallways so I'll get this side selected extrude again and drag it over then I can go in and select these other inside faces so now I can grab this little face and I can just extrude and drag that over I can even shrink these hallways down just hit uh, the scaling tool maybe these things are oh, let's make them narrower so you kind of walk in and it gets narrow there like uh oh something's going on I don't know uh, control E again extrude again go back to the move tool and just drag it down now I've got a long hallway that goes off that way and I could select this one again control E it's become a, a hot key to hit all the time now and drag down another hallway and here you can see basically building the inside of a little room or a maze and uh, this again may not be the perfect way to build the best level ever but it's certainly a really quick way to build out a level that matches with what you're trying to do and then you can always go back in and rebuild it or have artists go through and build it make it nice and pretty and perfect I think this is an amazing tool though like I said it's totally free they do have a paid version I think it, it enables all these great things and gives a different UI um, the free version like I said does all the, the basic stuff that I usually want to do so uh, even though I have the pro one I just go to the free one most of the time so anyway um, if you got questions about this you know drop them down below I may or may not be able to help but somebody probably really pro with pro builder could could help out there uh, if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe also if you have uh, requests for specific topics feel free to drop a comment below or just uh, toss me an email it's just jason at unity3d.college all right thanks for watching